It's raining. What a beautiful day for training. I love training in the rain. You get real muddy. It's humid. You get extra sweaty and nasty. It's a perfect environment for training. So today I want to talk about some basic drills. Okay, a lot of people have asked me in the comments, hey, can you go over some basic rifleman drills? This isn't some high speed stuff, but this is some stuff you need to, to master and some stuff that can go a really long way. Welcome to Modern Frontiersman. So as I said, we're out here training in the rain today. And uh, I have to be a little bit careful because I'm using the Manus system for training. Which we're going to talk about towards the end of this video about how this can enhance your training. So stay around to the end. One important thing to practice is reacting to contact. We call this up drills and it's very simple. So imagine you're patrolling along, contact front. You practice raising up your rifle, aiming at a point, and I like to just double tap. With the mana system, you can feel that trigger break, which is nice. You can have somebody, it's best, I think, to have somebody else call it out for you so you don't know when it's coming. And you could even be patrolling in the process, contact front, bang, bang. Okay, if you don't have a mana or whatever, that's fine. Literally just practice squeezing that trigger. You could actually just say bang, bang. You don't have to have live ammo for this and you can do it in your house. And it's, you know, it's extra safe with the mana system because so, you can still get uh, that feedback, see where your rounds would actually hit in a safe manner. So we're gonna do this front, left, right, and back. Okay, so contact front. Don't worry, you don't have to worry about speed right off the bat, just, you know, practice getting that rifle up and you can speed up as you go. You don't have to, you know, don't have to be a high speed operator right off the bat. I'm not a high speed operator. I'm just a grunt. I'm just a dumb rifleman. Contact front. Contact front. Contact left. We'll pivot around. Familiar with like basketball, you know, you pivot, you do the same thing, okay? Contact left. Contact left. Contact right. Contact right. Contact rear. Contact front. You know, just have somebody call out random directions. Contact right. Contact right. Contact left. Okay, but start out just slow and just do that over and over and over again. And that'll go a long way, right? You're just building that muscle memory of getting that rifle up and putting rounds down range. And you can try, you know, you can do it from different angles or different stances. But, uh, you know, most of the time, it's just the weapon's hanging as if you're like out on patrol, contact front. That's the way I prefer to do it. I wouldn't really train that, you know, in, in different stances and things. Just hold the rifle as normal and you just practice taking contact and getting the target or the rifle up on target. Okay, so the mana system is really nice because if you're not familiar with it, it basically you replace the bolt with this electronic bolt that's in there. And uh, if you, I don't know if you can see that, you see it's shooting out a laser. So you can get real feedback on what, where those rounds are hidden. Uh, this, the magazine is a battery pack. It is also Bluetooth. You, there's a little button there, you turn it on. And it connect, to connect to your phone, you can download the app and you can download digital targets and all that kind of stuff, which we'll do a video on that later. Right now, I'm not using that because I'm literally just outside and I can see that laser where that point of impact would be coming out the barrel. 
And that's really important when you get up close too, because you take into account um, height over bore. So when you're up close, you can see, you know, there, there's quite the difference in between where your point of aim and point of impact is. So that's really handy for training with that height over bore situation. Manus is really great to enhance your, your training. A lot of people like to just use it inside. I use it outside as well. You know, I might aim at a tree off in the distance, pretend that's a bad guy or put it in my head, okay? Every time you see a cedar tree, that's a bad guy, engage it. 50 yards, I'm walking through the woods, 50 yards away, there's a cedar tree, bang, bang. I can see where those, with that laser, I can see where those rounds impact and see how I'm doing. Okay, this, is, this has caused me to improve quite a bit. And like I said, in a future video, when I talk more about this Manus system, when we go inside and train in the house, I'll, uh, I'll talk about that a little more, about the improvements that, that this has helped me make. Um, and it's helped me get a lot faster uh, because those that don't know, you know, regular riflemen maybe aren't as fast as competition shooters because there's a lot of other stuff we have to learn and take into account. It's not all about shooting. But this Manus system has been invaluable. Uh, not long after starting to use it, it started, I started to notice a difference and um, it's just a fantastic tool. I use it every single night. I get home from work and I throw the Manus system in my rifle and, I, uh, and I, I'll train in the house. I say, I'll just do these up drills like we we're just talking about. I do it every single day. You don't need all these high speed, you know, newfangled ways of training. If you just practice the basics over and over and over, and master those basics, that is going to go a long way. And you're probably gonna end up being a lot better than most other guys. We don't wanna skip the basics and try to, you don't wanna be trying to run uh, before you can crawl and walk, okay? And, and just practicing these basics are gonna get you so far. That's some very basic drills, especially for those who are new to this kind of stuff and you're not looking for something complicated, just something simple you can do. Just do these up drills, practice getting that rifle on target, getting those that trigger pull in there, get that muscle memory, and that's it. As always, stay self-reliant. By the way, I know somebody's going to say something about me not assessing. You know why I don't do that? Because it's gay. <laughs> <laughs>